top five Jamaican billionaires and their net worth. Jamaica may be a developing country, but there's plenty of wealth on this little rock. While there is a sizable middle class, there is no shortage of people who are raking in the cash. Here are five Jamaicans who have broken the billion dollar mark. Welcome back to Elite Jamaica, the place you come to learn about Jamaica and Jamaicans. If it's your first time joining me here, consider subscribing to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button and remember to turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon so you never miss any of my updates. Number 5. John Joey Issa. Estimated net worth. US dollar 15 million that's Jamaican 1.8 billion dollars where his money comes from tourism and the gas born into a wealthy family Joey Issa started the cool oasis petrol stations in 1994 and later acquired several other petrol stations under his cool brand his portfolio has since grown to become a multi-billionaire entity consisting of more than 60 companies including automotive and household products as an integral part of the Super Club's all-inclusive resort chain founded by his father, John Issa, Joey, has introduced several philanthropic programs to help the less fortunate. Number 4. Joseph Matalon. Estimated net worth. US dollar, 22 million. That's Jamaican, 2.7 billion dollars. Where his money comes from? Banking, finance and investments. Matalon has been involved in the Jamaican business community for about three decades. Serving as a chairman of the ICD Group, an investment holding company, the British Caribbean Insurance Company, and the Development Bank of Jamaica. As president of the private sector organization, Matalon was influential in the creation of the government policy that impacted the business climate in Jamaica. He has served on the board of several companies and as an advisor to the government on economic issues. Number 3. Usain Bolt Estimated net worth US $60 million That's Jamaican $7.5 billion Where his money comes from? Sports prize money, appearance fees and endorsements In a record-breaking career that lasted more than 10 years Bolt became the highest earning track athlete in history At the height of his career, he was reported to be earning $33 million a year from appearances, prize money and endorsements he has par parlayed his winning charisma into off-the-track lucrative contracts with Gatorade, U-Bolt, Virgin Media and various other companies. His biggest source of income comes from longtime sponsor German footwear brand Puma, which he reportedly earns up to 10 million annually in a deal that will last until 2025. Bolt also gets residual earnings from his character in the Temper Run gaming franchise. Number 2. Gordon Butch Stewart. Estimated net worth US $1 billion. That's Jamaican $120 billion. Where his money comes from? Tourism and other businesses. Butch Stewart is the founder of the Sandals Resort Hotel chain, an early pioneer in the all inclusive concept. He started by selling air conditioners before opening his first hotel in Montego Bay in the early 80s. Today, the Sandals Resorts International operates five brands and the 24 properties in seven countries. His portfolio includes the Jamaica Observer newspaper, at ATL Automotive and about 20 other companies that fall under the Appliance Traders Group. Number 1. Michael Lee Chin. Estimated net worth. US $1.8 billion. That's Jamaican $220 billion where his money comes from, banking and investments. In his early years, Michael Lee Chin was a road engineer for the Jamaican government. Before he founded Portland Holdings, a privately held investment company, he made his fortune by investing in the financial companies including National Commercial Bank, in which he owns a majority stake. He acquired the Canadian Wealth Management Fund, AIC Limited, in 1987 and grew the company's assets from $1 million to $10 billion in 2002. He has quietly built up his real estate portfolio over the years, amassing more than 200 acres in Jamaica and homes in Canada and Florida. Thank you for joining me again guys. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. 
If so, please give it a like or a thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to Elite Jamaica for new upcoming videos. Guys, I'm not at my regular location in my bedroom making my videos at the moment. So there's a lot of background noise as I am in the country, as I told you guys before. So thank you for joining me again, and I really appreciate it. Until next time, I am Alex. Bless.